showing you guys some video editing apps so you guys can learn how to make your videos better quality and these apps are for phones so if you don't want to buy a camera or um, edit your videos on a computer and all that then you can just download these apps and edit them from there so sadly most of these apps are only for Apple products so sorry Android users but some of these apps may not be for you however most of these apps are free there's just a few that aren't free or are free for specific devices so yeah let's just get into this video all right so the first video editor we're going to talk about today is Viva Video. Now, Viva Video is a really fun editor where you can clip and edit videos. This editor is free on the App Store, but um, I'm pretty sure it's only available for iOS devices. Um, I'll have to look that up. Next video editor, which is most commonly used among the young YouTuber groups, is Video Star. Video Star is mainly used and I'm pretty sure you've heard of it. It's a video editing app but only for music videos because it doesn't allow any other audio except for music. You can add effects which sometimes cost money and sometimes don't. It's really cool to edit music videos with and it's pretty awesome too and it doesn't have a watermark at all. It's also free on the App Store. Next one is made by the same creators of Video Star, but it's called Video FX. This one is for making usual normal videos with audio and no music. This one doesn't let you have background music though. I don't really like it for that. I love background music in my videos and I think it makes it much better in my opinion. But if you don't mind not having background music, it is still a really cool app and you can add effects and all kinds of cool texts. Next video editor, which I use, which is my favorite, is iMovie. I use iMovie on a computer, but you can also use it on your phone. iMovie is usually free to download if you have a certain device that's like an S or something. So like, for example, an iPhone 6S, you get iMovie for free, but just a normal 6, you'd have to pay for it. It kind of comes with the thing, you know? Other than that, it costs $7 on the App Store. CuteCut and CuteCut Pro are really good editors too. CuteCut is free, but CuteCut Pro is not. I recommend getting CuteCut Pro, even though it's not free. It's still way better than CuteCut. However, both will work pretty well and make your videos a lot better. This next one is made only for GoPro users. So if you're using a GoPro and you want to edit your footage that you got on your GoPro, you don't have to use a computer to edit it. Simply go on to Quick, a GoPro video editor. It's free on the App Store and you can edit all your GoPro footage that you got on it and plus you don't need a computer to do so. It's a great app if you have a GoPro. Next app is Magisto. I used to use Magisto a long, long time ago, even before this YouTube channel just to make my own videos for fun, and it works pretty well. The reason why I stopped using it was because I started experiencing different kinds of weird changes. I don't know if it will happen to you guys, but I got a bug on my phone, which made it really hard to edit with it because my phone just couldn't handle it. However, that will probably not happen to you guys, so feel free to use the app. It is also free on the App Store. Next, number eight, we have Splice. Splice is a great video app to edit. It just has a watermark, but I'm sure you could probably crop that out if you wanted to. It's a really cool video app to try, and I recommend it. Number nine, really close to 10 here, we have Perfect Video. This is a video editor, pretty much like Splice. It also has a watermark, but it's really good to edit with, and you could probably crop it out yourself. Number 10, and the last one is Movie Maker. Movie Maker is a great video app to edit with, and I recommend it. I don't know if it has a watermark or not, but my cousins told me that it is a really good editor to use, so you should probably use it. All right, guys, that wraps it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys have some tips for creating your own videos. 
goodbye and pause out.